Hey, welcome back to Teresa's Dead. My name is Teresa and I'm always looking for a bargain. On today's episode, we're going to be talking about the Walmart beauty box thing. All right, anyway, I had to go to Walmart the other day. I love Walmart not in New York. I don't know why. I think Walmarts in other states are wonderful. I come to New York. It's like a fucking bomb went off. There's just people with scabs everywhere. Like they they have club foots and they're like, mm -hmm. I don't like going to Walmart, but I wanted to go to Walmart because I wanted to pick up the Physician's Formula Butter Collection, which I did, and I'll review at a later date. But I saw this really cool box. I noticed a lot of brands lately have been coming out with these kind of like best of boxes. I think it started with Sephora. I'm not sure if Ulta has them. I know Target has a bunch of them. There was quite a few boxes. I want to say maybe five or six, but the one that kind of gravitated towards me was this lipstick one. So you basically get six things for the retail price of $9.88 and it retails over $38. So this is what you get. You get a Revlon Kiss Plumping Lip Creme. Creme. I want to say cream, but it was creme. Uh, Milani Amore Matte Lip Cream. Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink. Hard Candy Plumping Lip Gloss. L'Oreal Infallible Matte Gloss and Elf Lip Exfoliator. So I figured why not just try them on camera to give you my initial reaction. By the way, this is what it looks like. This is the set. Why don't we try the exfoliator first, right? I could exfoliate. So it comes in this um, plastic thing. I'm house sitting this weekend. My mom stepdad uh, went to New Hampshire I'm home alone oh, God. my house is haunted happy thoughts okay so why don't we try this elf lip exfoliator come really see look let's let's, let's get up close to my mouth because I don't have enough anxiety about this already okay it looks like this It's definitely like little beads are coming off of it. Let's put it on my lips. Okay. Oh, it's actually... Okay. Am I supposed to be eating this? I don't think I gotta eat this, right? No eating, right? God, why am I such a fucking idiot? Okay. Uh, anyway, tasting it though, it's actually not fat. <laughs> Go stop, please. You know, it's even greater. Alex is closing tonight. <laughs> Imagine if this is my last video. Like, you're going to see this and it's just me uh, eating this fucking elf thing. I deserve to die. Okay. So, let's get close. Uh huh. Has a nice sheen. My lips definitely feel smooth. It tastes nice. Again, I don't think I'm supposed to be tasting this, but it it doesn't taste awful. So after you're done with this portion of it, you uh, gently rub all over your lips in a small circular motion. Uh-huh, uh-huh, like that, uh-huh. And then you wipe gently with a cotton pad and follow with a nourishing lip balm. My lips do feel a lot smoother. I actually really like this product. I honestly thought this was gonna be the one thing that I hated, but I really like it, so I'm gonna be using this a lot. Okay, now the next thing we are gonna use, oh, what can we try here? You know what, I love looking like I got a chemical burn on my lips. Why don't we try the Revlon Plumping Lip Creme? Okay, so I've never heard of this product before. And I'm about to fucking give up in a second. You know why I haven't heard of this product before? Because nobody can fucking open it, that's why. <sighs> Motherfucker. Oh, look at that. That's a nice little pinky color. Very pretty. Now what scares me about this is it's plumping cream.
I like it. I like the color. I like the, the pinky kind of nude. I honestly thought it was gonna burn more. Do my lips look bigger? I just want Brittany Murphy lips. You know, like a fish. I don't know if it's really doing anything for me. I'm gonna have to look back at the footage, but I think, you know, honestly, for some sort of a weird lip gloss, I think uh, it's good. It's definitely, it's not transfer proof. Definitely not transfer proof. I'm really surprised. I thought it was gonna be burning more because I tried Too Faced. There was like some sort of plumping thing from Too Faced and that fucked me up. So I'm always very scared to try stuff like this, but I think it's pretty good. I don't know, I think it's really cute. I like this one. So far, two for two. Let's keep it going. I'm actually really excited to try this one, which is uh, Hard Candy. Now, I have never tried anything from Hard Candy before. Nothing. I remember them as a kid. I've seen so many ads, I believe, in the YM magazine and Sassy and like all those really fucking good 90s magazines. I remember seeing a lot of ads for Hard Candy, but I've never seen them. I, I remember not seeing them in the drugstore, didn't know really where to go. It, needless to say, I'm super happy that they're still around and I finally get to try it. So it looks like Hard Candy might be just exclusively sold through Walmart. Maybe I'm wrong, but it, there was like a decent, um, there was like a decent rack of stuff or like a, a, like a little end cap of some hard candy things. But anyway, so let's try this one, which is their plumping serum called Sugar Sugar. Another fucking impossible packaging. Right. Ugh, looks kind of gooey. All right, let's try this. Get a little swatch on my hand. Okay, basically just looks like pink spit. Doesn't feel burning. All right, let's try. Come on, hard candy. I've been waiting to try you for like fucking 17 years. All right, let's go. Ugh. Okay, let's zoom you back. Let me zoom you in. Okay, I made the mistake of licking my lips. Don't know why I did that. And it tastes awful. <laughs> but on my lips though, it definitely feels like I have a thick layer of glue on my face. Not really my favorite. But it's pretty though, like, is it plumping now? I can't say that it's plumping. I, I think I'm gonna have to look back when I'm editing to see if it is plumping, but uh, so far, it just feels like a nice kind of lip gloss. Although now I'm starting to feel like, have you ever had like winter fresh gum or like any sort of minty gum and it's winter and you're chewing it and you go and you're outside and you're going, I don't know why you're doing that, but you decided to do that. And then the gum and your breath and everything, you just like, just chills you down like your whole mouth. That's what it feels like, but on my lips. I should probably research this shit before. All right, so, okay, final thoughts. Mm, it's gloss, it's okay. Is it plumping? I don't really know. I, it doesn't really seem very noticeable right now, but it does feel very minty on my lips. So I don't really like that feeling. I don't know necessarily if I would go and pick this up again. So let's put this in the maybe pile. Um, Maybelline Super Safe Matte Ink in the color Lover. I tried this before. I don't know what I was doing. I tried this before, but in a different color and I fucking hated it. I put it on and it seemed fine and then I went to the train and a piece of this was just missing. It was missing and I know it takes a while to dry down or like you have to kind of, you know, not press your lips. You have to kind of keep them separated like a fucking, I don't know what this is, but you gotta do that. And I was up on the train trying to do it really fast before the train got there and then <laughs> for at least 10 minutes into my ride, I was like this because I couldn't have the bottom lip touch the top lip. So, let's see how this one works. I don't know necessarily if this color is for me, 
right off the bat, I say this formula is way better than the one that I had. So they had like a, I'm gonna insert a picture here. It was like a brown, orangey one that I thought was really pretty. Don't get that one. If anything, maybe get this one, but let's see how this dries down. Oh, I totally forgot to do the swatch thing. Huh, okay, this is what the swatch is. So it's, it's a pretty color. I don't know if this is necessarily for me though, or maybe it just doesn't go with the eye look. Hmm. Comment below if you think it goes. Holy shit, that's fucking amazing. Okay, so I got a bum shade. This is a really great shade, so don't get this shade. Don't do it, it's disgusting. This, I can fuck with this. One, eh, and so far three, so what is it, three and a half, uh, three and a half so far? That's pretty good. It is the L'Oreal Infallible Matte Gloss. Apply starting in the center of your upper lip. Work from the center to the outer edges of your lip. Following the contour of your mouth and glide across. I, I'm talking to me like I never fucking applied something on my face before. Okay. So, this is how it came. I don't think it's supposed to look like this. So, let's try this limpy, this limp dick looking one. Let's put it right there. Okay, that's more my speed. It's giving me circa. High school. This is a very difficult applicator, okay? Very hard to fucking get in. I don't understand how this is gloss. Because it, you know, it looks like a lipstick. It's the opacity of a lipstick. Not necessarily a gloss. Um, right off the bat, I think it's beautiful. This is my speed. I would wear this every day. Uh, transfer proof? No, it's not. Nope, not by a long shot. Oh shit, it's gone. <laughs> okay, so it's definitely not transfer proof. And uh, you know what though? I gotta say, like, so it has like a weird kind of a shine. However, it's very creamy on the lips. It's very soft, very buttery. It's almost as if I took a stick of butter and just put it all over my lips. It's really wonderful. I actually don't even mind the color that it kind of turns into once you kind of get the initial gloss part done. So once you have that off, fantastic throughout the day. Mm, okay, there it goes. Now it's gone. All right, so you definitely gonna have to be reapplying this throughout the day, that's for sure. But I, overall, I think it's very pretty. I wanna say this retails for about $10, so it's a lot of money for something that kind of wears off quickly, but it's very pretty though. So I think when L'Oreal has another sale again, whether it be Ulta or Walgreens or whatever, I think I might try to pick up a couple different colors. So I really like the feeling of it. For once, besides the exfoliator, my lips actually feel nice and smooth. What a first, okay. All right, now we're gonna try the last one. All right, we're gonna try the last one, which is by Milani. Using the Amore Matte Lip Creme Double-Sided Plush Applicator, glide the liquid matte across your lips smoothly, starting at the cupid's bow in a crisscross pattern, then along the outer, the outer corners of lips and the bottom lip. There's so many goddamn instructions. Whatever happened to just fucking putting it on? Okay, so this is in the shade Adorable. It looks like it's my kind of shade. Oh, I like that I can just easily open this. That makes me very happy. Makes John B very happy. Oh, bitch. I thought I liked the other one. I think I might like this one the best. I think this is my favorite one. I love this one so much. This is definitely something that's very me. I would definitely wear this one all the time. It completely dries down really fast. Okay, for the most part, it's transfer proof. There are some little residue, but I think this is actually my favorite one because it's very reminiscent to Jeffree Star. It actually looks very similar to the Christmas cookie color. So what a wonderful cheap dupe. Um, it does, uh, I will say though, if you lick your lips, you do kind of feel a little bit of a grit. Nothing crazy, like nothing that would make me not want to wear it, but 
the difference between I would say Jeffree Star to this one is Jeffree Star doesn't have any kind of grit towards that. Like, you know, you're licking your lips, it's like your lips. You're licking your lips, you're not licking this shit off of them. So that's my only kind of complaint with this one. Right. Let's go back to the ones that I think are pretty good. The Revlon Kiss one, packaging, bleh. The packaging sucks. I did like the color. I like the pinkiness of it. Um, did not burn my lips. I uh, totally would use this again. Hard candy plumping serum. I don't think I would really use this again. I didn't see any difference. Probably gonna pass on this one. Which sucks because I really had this whole love affair with hard candy to only find out that I don't really like their products. But then again, I only tried one thing, so I should try something else. I shouldn't be a complete dick. <laughs> oh. All right, sorry, Hard Candy, bye. The Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink. Totally amazing. I tried this before, fucking hated it. Love this color. Highly recommend getting this color. Lover, fucking hell yeah, go for it. Makes me want to try the other ones. The Infallible Pro Matte Glosses. It's so pretty, I love this. I mean, it's so nice. It actually makes my lips feel really good afterwards. So I would highly recommend getting this one. A more matte lip creme, I uh, highly recommend it. It does feel comfortable, I really like it, and I think for just like a, you know, like a nice cheap dupe, not bad. I am interested to try other colors in this line. Last but not least, the e.l.f. Lip Exfoliator. Now, I have a couple of lip scrubs, actually from Jeffree Star. Pumpkin Spice one, obviously, because I'm a basic white bitch. And I have, I think, watermelon and pancakes, because again, I'm a basic white bitch. I love them very much. I would be interested in purchasing this again because like Jeffree Star stuff is on the higher end. But this is definitely a really, really, really good, um, very cheap alternative. Not a dupe, but an alternative. And I guess that's it. I think for $9.88, it's totally well worth the money. It's really great. I liked five out of the six products. Not to say that I'm not gonna try the hard candy cloths again. I just have to find it somewhere on my living room floor. With that said, I totally recommend purchasing it. So if you're ever in a Walmart and you see it, feel free to pick it up. Or if you're online, blah, blah, blah. As always, thank you for watching. I truly appreciate it. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feedback, non-feedback, you want to tell me what kind of dogs you like, I don't care. Please feel free to write it down below. Um, I think I have my social media bullshit somewhere on the YouTube page. I don't know. Come find me. Teresa's dead. But I'm alive. Go fucking figure. Even though I feel like I'm dead on the inside. <laughs> that's another video <laughs> and um yeah i guess really that's it so i will see you little pumpkins later <laughs>